Today we are going to walk through a demonstration on the Tossy Box Remote Access. And today we are going to be using a soft key. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can uh, demo this to your customers. And to start with, we're just going to uh, quickly do an overview of the Tossy Box Remote Access, just so we're all on the same page. So uh, here we have on the right hand side we're not going to be talking about industry 4.0 today and on the bottom there is the internet of things we're not going to be talking about that but we are going to be talking about what's on the right hand side there that is the Tosi box um, this is actually the 500 here but uh, we're not going to focus on a specific type we're going to uh, primarily focus on the soft key itself and just so you know the Tosi Box um, connections. It's a new standard for building global networks and it's secure global networks. And that's always the key word to use is secure because we're creating a secure connection across the cloud. And here are the different types of locks. And for every lock, there needs to be a key, of course, right? So in the middle there, kind of wedged in between the boxes, you see that there is a physical key that's the USB key there on top and then just to the right of that you can see there's a soft key and a soft key is exactly that it's a software key so there's no physical key like the one that's sitting on top of the box this is a software key that you can just download and use which is kind of neat and then really quick let's just cover the different types of uh, secure connections that you can ma make with the uh, Tosi box so on the left hand side here we have one lock with many keys. So here's your lock in the middle and here's all the different keys. So that you can have one lock with a bunch of keys. On the second one we have one key with many locks. So I can have just one key and I can connect to a bunch of locks. Versus the first one we just have one lock and we have many keys, many users. And then the third box here we have a sub lock so we have a lock the key connects to a lock and then underneath there we have many more locks so you can set up that architecture so that way you do have locks underneath a single lock and then on the fourth one we have restricted access here you can see this user can access three locks and then here's another user with his key and he can only access the one in the middle okay so those are the different types of user accounts and different ways that you can set up secure access and there's many more right because if you can use a combination of these as well so I just want to make sure that we covered that just as a brief overview okay and here's the way the thing works right so we have a PC or a mobile client like a uh, iPhone or an Android phone and um, we insert a key right into the PC or a um, mobile client key or a soft key and we develop this VPN tunnel a VPN means virtual private network and it's a secure tunnel and it's actually setting up all the tunnels that are going to let us through the corporate firewall into our local LAN that's our local area network here's our wide area network the wide area network is the one that connects to the cloud so we're on in the cloud we're coming in we go past our network firewall and then we get into our internal land our local access network and that's where all of our devices are hooked up so what's happening is the key is allowing us to create this secure tunnel all the way into our corporate network and then to the physical floor or wherever we have our devices so from key to device with ease and it definitely is that easy today we're going to be talking about the Tosi soft key demo okay and how to do that right and I listed the steps here so the first step is you're gonna get an email and that email is gonna have a download for the soft key software from Tulsi box 
and then the next thing you need to do is activate that key after you download the soft key um, software then we need to find the IDEC HMI once you've installed the software and loaded it and you're running it you'll see that it, the Tosi box soft key automatically connects so as long as you're on the internet and the other device on the other end is on the internet that key will seek out and find its lock no matter where it is as long as they're both on the internet okay and then step five we're going to open up an internet browser and then step six you're just going to type in 10 10 10 9 9 that is the IP address of the HMI on the other side of the network which is kind of confusing um, but it will actually there's nothing that you have to do to create the tunneling to get to this IP address even though your IP address is probably nowhere near this one um, the Tosi box is going to do all the heavy lifting for us and then we can see the HMI so once we see the HMI we can play with a couple buttons turn them on and off and then what we want to do is close the Tosi box software and then try to access the HMI again and you'll see that you can't because your secure network is down so sounds easy nine easy steps certainly let's do it okay so like I said you're gonna get an email here's a sample email here is the software link right and what you want to do is you want to copy that down or I don't think you want to type it in but copy it and then go to your internet browser type that in or, or paste it into your URL and then we'll go to the site and download the software and then the next step we're gonna put in this activation key let's go download that software so here I'm on a different computer and this computer does not have the software loaded on it yet so that's what I'm gonna do I just wanna go get that software so we're gonna open up the internet and we are going to go to that web page and like I said it's probably easier if you just type that or click on that link and it will bring you to the same web page and then so this is the soft key um, information on the Tossy box website and it's just talking about the different things that you can do with the soft key and then down here you'll see that you can download it and here's the soft key for Windows and here's the one for Mac and I'm on a Windows machine so I'm going to click download here and you can see it's downloading I'm just gonna click I understand and then right here is the download and then when it downloads after it downloads you're gonna get a physical picture you see how it just changed into a physical picture now instead of that little uh, timer that it had there once you get a physical picture with the T in it you can click on that and run that okay so on my screen my systems telling me that it's trying to download something I had to okay that so right now it's installing and you can see it right here here you can see that I have a Tosi box key icon and I'm going to double click that and start that up and now it wants an activation so from my email that's where I'm going to get that activation key and I copied that and there it is and I just paste that in there then I'm going to click next and then it wants me to set a password for my soft key so I'm going to put one in here and here you can see my master key number if your customer orders a soft key we're going to need that master key from him like when I ordered mine I had to tell Tosi box this is my master key my physical key so you just can't start off with um, soft keys you have to have one USB uh, physical key and this is my number for my physical key and so I told them that I wanted some soft keys and the first thing they did is ask me okay what is your master key you want us to apply those soft keys to and this is my number and that's what that is okay once you entered that in um, the application is going to start again and it wants that uh, password 
So then this message comes up. Soft key is waiting confirmation from the master key. So we have the master keys and what I want to do is I want to show you that whole process. Okay. So um, on the other end, whoever has the master key, which is the automation team, we're going to have to okay that. So what you need to do is make sure that you have a member of the automation team um, with you or not with you, but um, just on the phone so that way we can um, authorize that. So I will show you exactly how that process works. So here is the master key. So I'm logging into that right now. So it just shows me who the user is and what kind of system they're on, uh, the MAC address, where it's coming in from, and all I have to do is accept that. And now it's sending to the server telling it it's okay. So the next step we have to do is we have to manage that soft key and give it some rights. Um, right now we've activated it, but it can't see any locks because we haven't told it uh, which locks it has uh, permissions to see. So I'm going to manage my keys, come into that soft key, which is soft key number one, and I'm going to manage that. And you see when I manage that, it's going to say, okay, which keys or which locks do you want it to see? And the lock that I have the demo on is number uh, the lock 200. And we're going to go next and save that. It's adding that. It says it's done. I'm going to close that. And we take care of all of that on our end. So now you can see back on your end, it's telling you, hey, you've received access rights. And it's showing you that you can get to that lock 200. You can see that the lock 200 appears here, but it's not online. So as long as you're on the internet, you can click on connect and it's going to attempt to connect to it. See, it's connecting right here. Here is how you get to that demo. All of that um, authentication and uh, contacting uh, your automation team for the authentication, that, that's all done, right? So you only have to do that once. So the next time that you come in, all you have to do is click on that icon, type in your password, and it's going to come right here. And then once you connect, there's that IDEC HMI. So I'm going to double click on that, and it's showing green because we, we are connected to that. So the next step, we're going to open up a browser, come to the URL, and like I said, all we have to do is type that 10, 10, 10, 99 in there and it and then I'm going to hit enter and then when username comes up I'm just going to type in user and I'm going to sign in and here what it did is it brought up the web server that is being broadcast from the HMI the um, IDEC HMI here's it's telling what the model number is the version and then just general information about that IDEC HMI but the fun part is we can control it so here's control and monitor we're going to click on control and then the HMI comes up then now this HMI is in our West Michigan office in Grand Rapids Michigan and it's running and you can actually turn things on and off so when I click on this button that that's actually happening and turning on the buttons over there in, in Grand Rapids it's going beep 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 and you can turn on pumps there's no real pumps or anything running it's just the HMI so don't worry about wrecking something or turning something on that you shouldn't or turning off something that you shouldn't so I just shut those two the pump off and the switch off here here's some switches that you can play with and like I said it's going beep 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 over there right now what I said is to prove that we are actually connected, right? Because I, I typed in that address 10, 10, 10, right? To get here, right here, you can see it 10, 10, 10, 99, right? Now I'm going to go and disconnect my HM or my Tulsi box software, right? We're just going to close that down, kill that connection. See, and it's saying that right here, exit and close all VPN connections. Yes, I want that down. And then I'm just gonna go right back into my browser and try to mess around with that HMI. And you see it's gone, right? And if I try to get it back, nothing's happening because we severed that connection. Now if I come back up here and type in 
10.10.99, nothing, because we don't have that connection anymore. So this is demonstrating that you can use the VPN, the Tosi Box soft key, to establish a VPN tunnel, virtual private network, securely to a remote site and access the devices at that site. And you see here it says that site is not reachable. Of course it isn't because we shut down our uh, VPN tunnel that we used uh, this soft key to establish. So that's a quick way that you can demo Get on the internet, click on your Tulsi box key. It's going to bring up the software. You got to type in your super secret password that you created. It shows it, it's connecting. And because I'm on the internet, it just starts doing that connection. It's authenticating, it's making sure it's real, it's establishing an IP address. And then there is our HMI. Once you're to this step, you can open up a browser. You can type in 10.10.10.99. The username is user. There is no password. We're signing in. We go to control. Wait for our HMI to show up. And there it is. And again, some people might be a little bit leery saying, yeah, you're just bringing up a web page and you're, you need to tell them that, no, this is actually the web uh, service from the HMI. It um, has a web service on it that's generating this page. The HMI itself does, the um, IDEC HMI. And all of these controls, we're actually turning them on the HMI itself that's located in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And to prove it, we can disconnect our Tulsi box and try to reconnect to this. And you'll see that we'll lose our secure connection uh, to the HMI in Grand Rapids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just that. I am going to bring up my Tulsi box software. I'm going to close it. It's going to warn me and I'm going to say yes and boom it disappears because we lost that connection and it appears that it's still connected but like i said if you try to refresh this page or type in 10 10 10 99 again it, it's not going to find it because it, it can't tunnel through the vpn anymore because the vpn has been disconnected and you can see it's going round and round and then it finally says it, it can't so that's how we demonstrate that we are using the Tosi Box soft key to uh, establish that secure tunnel. So that's a very quick way to demonstrate that. You see that that second time around, it didn't take long to do that, right? Maybe five minutes. So you can demonstrate this in five minutes or less and show how that soft key works. Again, there's also the hard key, the USB, and that's the master key. You need to have one of those prior to getting a soft key and if you have any questions don't hesitate to get a hold of any of the empire automation team you can get a hold of us at automation at empirewc.com thank you and have a nice day